Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail yes we are doing something really really weird I do realize that you guys don't ask me how I actually came up with this idea because I've got no idea how I actually did come up with it but what we're doing is the eyebrow challenge now what this is is basically we're only allowed to use units which have eyebrows so if we do go into the training troops I wasn't quite sure if the barbarians do have eyebrows I mean it doesn't really exactly look like it I don't even know if that's an actual hairline I honestly don't know so I just chose the troops which actually have uh, eyebrows which literally you can clearly see for example the joint you can clearly see he does have eyebrows or the healer for example right here she clearly does have eyebrows whereas the barbarian for example you can't exactly tell whether or not he does have eyebrows so I just left him out but you can also see we have a couple of wall breakers and no the wall breakers do not have eyebrows but I just thought I would fill the final spots up with these remaining wall breakers so please do keep that in mind so with that being said let's get ourselves into a couple of attacks now we also do have a couple of spells gonna get myself into the battlefield right here and what spells do we have so we've got two raid spells two jump spells and a single heal spell and we still have to continue and search for a base so hopefully we can find a good base hopefully we can find like a town hall 10 base like this base for example this guy also does have the double cannon but i think i want to find a base which is a little more maxed out basically not 100 percent maxed out but like a base like a town hall 9 slash town hall 10 base i hope you guys do understand what i'm talking about but yeah that being said i'm gonna be right back once i find a base like that okay so check this out you guys we just came across this guy right here chams and we are going to take on this base now he has got two inferno towers i believe one of them is a higher level i'm not 100 100% sure I can't really tell too much but we are still gonna take on this base now the bad thing about this attack is we do not have any tank units we don't have any golems no lava hounds nothing like that we only have five giants so the giants are the only unit which can actually tank a little bit so we are going to go for the town hall so check it out what we're gonna do is we are going to drop in the giants like this and we are also going to drop in the five healers and guys this guy is absolutely trying to troll us with these Teslas we're gonna drop in all of our units over here we're also going to drop in the five uh, what is it the five hog riders this guy is totally trying to troll us for like 100 percent but he is not actually going to manage to do that 100 percent so we're going to start dropping in those uh, what is it? those miners right here we're also going to drop in that first raid spawn right here on the batteries because why not and we do have the giants over on the other side of the base going to pop that king ability in a few seconds also going to drop in all of my war backers. let's pop the king ability right now we do have five goblins let's just drop them like this there go the goblins they're gonna help out the miners and we do have five archers left so we're gonna drop in that uh, what should we drop in i don't really know uh the arch queen is over in the center of the base so you know what this attack is going pretty well we do have a couple of giants i'm just gonna let them die because honestly a heal spot is not going to help them out but the arch queen and this single heroic wizard are doing a lot of work in this space so why is the arch queen what are you doing archer queen i don't understand you're gonna pop the queen ability in a couple of seconds right now there goes the queen ability should we heal up i don't really know i don't think so i don't think that is absolutely worth it so we're just gonna wait on that heroic wizard but check it out in front of time we're gonna take out the arch queen but the arch queen is going to take out that uh, cannon and you can see the final heroic wizard right here this is absolutely ridiculous a single wizard got us all of this loot in the center of the base you can see the clan castle and every single one of the storages in the center of the base and this wizard is now going to take out the dark elixir wow this is absolutely crazy i am absolutely absolutely stunned right now we are also going to drop in the final five archers within the base because why not now let's see is this wizard going to be able to remain alive with these healers or is it going to get targeted he is being targeted by that expert but hopefully he can take out this gold storage come on wizard i believe in you i believe you can actually take it out there goes the gold storage in a couple of seconds there it goes and the wizard is now going to die because those healers aren't going to be able to take yeah okay that's going to be the end of that wizard so hashtag r.i.p wizard 
down below in the comment section but that wizard was totally heroic i'm actually pretty stunned i'm actually pretty happy with this now we are going to end the attack honestly because we don't really have anything else we only had a couple of archers but we got a total of 60 percent when we got this second star so that's pretty interesting we also got a ton of loot 300,000 gold and 400,000 elixir also 2,000 dog collector and 17 trophies pretty damn happy with these results now we're gonna do the exact same attack one more time we did get the star bonus that's pretty good and uh, we are now going to get ourselves into another attack but with different spells we've got four sorry three free spells and also a jump and a heal spell so this should be pretty interesting now the other thing you guys need to keep in mind is that we do not have our heroes this time so this time it's gonna be even more difficult because of the fact that our king and queen are both down so it's gonna be a little more difficult but hopefully we can still get the first star and even maybe the second star so I'm not quite sure what base we should take on obviously I am skipping quite a few bases because they are too difficult and others are too easy but you know what I think this is the perfect base to take on the town hall is a little on the outside of the base so we're just gonna take on this base see how it goes so we're gonna go into the base from this side we're gonna drop in that early poison spot already I know you guys may think it's a little early but I think that was pretty damn good so we're now gonna spam in all of our war breakers we're also gonna drop in those five healers and the five valkyries and then we have a couple of miners let's drop in the miners and also the hog riders why not so we do have a couple of more units left the wizards right here five wizards let's drop in that to jump spot over here let's also drop in a free spot a couple of moments like on the giants on the tesla on the uh, what is it on the arch tower let's drop in another heal spot in a couple of moments we're also going to drop in the five goblins because why not so let's drop in that heal spot but where should we drop it all of our units are actually dead wow okay so this is not really helping at all i'm going to drop in that free spot on the expo see if that helps out at all let's drop in that uh, heal spot over on the miners and on the giants this is not working out at all is it so yeah we are definitely not going to be winning this attack this was an absolutely awful attack let's drop in a couple of more archers over on the outside of the base maybe just maybe we can get the 50 percent we've got a single pekka in the clan castle but that would be cheating honestly but you know what we don't really have another option so i am actually going to go ahead and i'm going to cheat a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop in the uh, pekka over on this side of the base hopefully the pekka does move on towards this ball yes it is doing exactly what i wanted it to do and the ball is on low uh, on low health basically so that's going to be really helpful we are preparing that to uh, free spell for the uh, what is it for the expo maybe yes expo and also the arch tower hopefully the pekka can take out the wizard tower maybe and maybe it can distract the uh, other defenses and the wizards can do a lot of damage in behind come on wizards take out this cannon come on to get out to get out no they didn't manage to take it out so that's going to be the end of the attack sadly we didn't manage to get the first star in this attack but that is still absolutely fine as we had a lot of fun but check it out check out this small army this literally looks like the Noah's Ark but it is only the units which actually have eyebrows plus the wall breakers so I really do hope this attack was pretty fun for you guys now I'm also going to be doing another video where I only take the units with mustaches so if you do want to see that then please be sure to stay tuned to the channel so basically the wizard for example the barbarian the john what about him I mean he doesn't have a mustache but it's got like a beard I guess so we're going to be doing that and uh, the hawk rider also have a, has a mustache slash beard so we're going to be doing a fun attack right there and uh, that should be pretty interesting and the barbarian king he also does have a beard so that is going to be really really interesting I really do hope you guys do stay tuned to that because I'm just coming up with these interesting weird ideas which no one has really come up with over for Clash of Clans. I just want to bring new things to the channel and also I'm going to be doing another troll base in the very near future hope, hopefully and uh, hopefully yeah that does work out. So we're going to request for a couple of troll units. Any troll units there we go. Just going to send that request see if we get ourselves any clan castle units. We're going to do a final attack within the builder base just to celebrate it right here. So we're just going to spam in all of our baby dragons. I always do baby dragon attacks. They actually seem to be working out really well now about this base I'm not 100% sure because of these air defenses they may be a little bit annoying we are going to drop in another baby dragon over on this air defense in a couple of seconds no that's not even going to be necessary we're going to drop in another baby dragon over on this air defense hopefully the air defense does go down come on air defense go down and yes it is going to go down what about the ultra tower I think the ultra tower is going to go down I'm pretty confident about that are we going to get the three star I don't think so because of this air mine right here because of these air mines but the baby dragon may be a able to be out of range of the air bombs and take out the town hall i don't exactly know i don't think so i doubt it but maybe just maybe so let's check
check it out and what about these air bombs are they gonna take out our baby dragons let's check it out our enemy is spectating live and sadly the air bombs are going to target the baby dragon so there goes the final baby dragon most likely and yes hashtag rip baby dragon i swear if we actually lose this attack i'm gonna be stunned but okay so no we didn't lose this attack 94 percent but only a single star but that is fine because we did get the victory so that being said you guys this is going to be the end of this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy it so if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to see more fun videos like this one basically with these weird challenges which no one has actually come up with because they just are that weird and just that outside of the box now if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said guys my name is of course Sasha and I'll see you next time peace out